Hi beautiful souls, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. And I really do hope that you're doing well in this time. I thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing the messages with those you love, and for being a subscriber here. I appreciate all 3,000 and growing out of you. Much love. All right, so welcome in. These are going to be general love messages for you, Cancerian. So all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So do take the ones that do apply and the rest, let them fly. You know what I mean? Take it easy. Listen well. Breathe in here with me also. So let's get your energy in love. The first card that came was the Nine of Pentacles. You know, I feel like you're working. What you're flaunting right now is your tools, your gifts. And I feel like money is coming into you or a sense of independence and confidence flowing toward you. I'm getting the energy of a, I don't know, I heard young son, but I'm getting the energy of a young man who like got a job, he's making money, he's saving, he's paying his bills, he's budgeting, he's dressing well, taking care of himself as you know all of that and it makes him feel confident independent clear he has a vision of where he wants to get to but i do feel like he's single as he works or she you know what i mean on 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 the goals or the visions so this person is not spending a lot but learning how to save and invest and i think even time so maybe for some of you that's where your energy is being invested in your work. This is also about confidence. It almost makes me feel like you are ready to attract. You know, you've been working on your confidence. The nine of pentacles, I'm glad I examined this further, is also powering up, you know, that's my Kamehameha vibration. It's the energy when you power up inside out. It's like so beautiful, a glow. And it's, it feels... I'm not saying you're happy, but I'm saying you're confident. And I feel like things are coming into you, moving toward you. And these are good things. Good things are moving into your life, in your flow. You're expecting good things. It's like how this beautiful little birdie just pitched on this person's hand here. It's like you're attracting with the glove. It's like you have this, this whatever your gifts are or whatever you're doing, you're attracting. I feel prosperity surrounds you. I feel like you're, you've accomplished something. And because you have saved or invested correctly or efficiently, and I feel like you decided to do something different, to take a leap of faith, to go off. Because see the full card here. To be the fool, maybe to dream, to have a vision. The fool card and the nine of pentacles is really giving me a lot of power. Eye of the tiger vibration. No mad energy. Like I feel like you may have gone off on your own for a while, but this is supposed to be a love reading. But I feel like you had to do all of that to get yourself to this point where you're at the two of pentacles where you feel more balanced emotionally. Because you feel more balanced emotionally you're attracting now we have the seven of pentacles <laughs> this is another pentacles there's something that you've invested in in your healing your well-being you're putting in the work and it's showing in your radiance with the nine of pentacles Oh, finally, the Three of Cups. So you're going to be celebrating. I like that energy. I feel like I'm not very familiar with the energy as yet. It feels like when it, when it comes to you, you will know what it is. The celebration. I feel like you may get a moment of deja vu. It may feel like you're fulfilling a dream, like a literal dream you've had. You'll be celebrating. The three of cups you're going to be celebrating in love the three of cups is the only cups we see so far <laughs> the ten of swords okay I, I don't know where this reading is going in love the outcome is saying 
you feel down. I'm going to have to take some time and look at this message. The sun card is here. I can't explain this. It is giving me a feeling, uh, a thing from a long time ago. Working on becoming your best self. And I feel like you're definitely becoming that 100% because we have the three of cups at the, old, at the highest point in your life. It feels like, yeah, you're celebrating, you're giving thanks. This celebration is all here for you now. You're celebrating yourself, your own journey. You are the one that is being celebrated because of all the work that you've done on yourself. I feel like you are very victorious in that. Maybe at this point you're single, you know, working on yourself. Like I say, you're still going through that phase. But it's coming a time where you're going to realize you've risen up. You know, you've emerged into your, your purest state, the state in which you want to be in. I feel like it comes because you've been take, taking a lot of time to yourself. Like I say, working on your beauty, your grace, your expression how you put yourself out there your radiance your glow all of you and it, you're doing it internally okay i feel like there's coming a time you're moving away from a lot of things that caused you injury it affected your alignment even your spinal alignment as well and um your awareness of self you didn't know who you were you were the kind of person that i feel you you know i'm not going to go hard on you but this is it resonates with me as well you didn't stand firm on your own feet just like that backbone energy so i feel like once you took the time to learn about yourself to start healing to go on your own journey to uh Invest in yourself, your own well-being, to listen to your own intuition and to do the things that you know will, will make you feel good about yourself. It started to really bring you back into balance, not just emotionally, but spiritually, your own well-being really starting to show on you. You invested in this. This is something that you've always wanted and it's coming through. I feel like what you did was beautiful because you took a leap of faith i feel like you decided to laugh in hard times as well i was mentioning acupuncture as well because of this card it feels like you could use some acupuncture because of all the injury and the hurt and the disalignment that you went through i feel like it could help to release like nerves tensions and all of that i'm not recommending it it's just because i see this card here and then the sun energy which feels like that release or that transformational spirit i do feel like a lot of abundance and success is coming into you and this is a love reading it's coming through in so i feel like the person you may meet is going to be really really wealthy or like a lot of just your your energy is about to change completely moving from this energy of being betrayed backstabbed left alone lost you know what i mean all of that moving into your true beauty you just you found your gifts and you decided to follow your heart to follow your intuition and i'm so proud of you literally that's how i feel when i look at this horse he looks proud of his rider so i feel proud of you i feel proud um this feels like pride as well following in your um taking your gifts and even um listening to your own and i hear domination or some dominant thoughts are the dominant actions that you decide to take. Something that was dominant in your life is paying off. I feel like you're going to be receiving, like, I feel like this reading is all about pentacles. You know, you could be receiving some wealth. Definitely here inheriting, um, maybe inheriting. For, I feel like you could be going to school as well to study. You could be traveling as well. You know, I feel like you could be going to you could be traveling you could be like being in um you could be 
um, enrolling in a, in a school or a college that is overseas. I feel like it's going to help with your discipline and your confidence, your focus. For some reason, it's gonna. It's some school that's been. It's um. It's not a. It's not an ordinary college. I don't know. Maybe you're gonna go study science or spirituality or metaphysics. I don't know. No, 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 no. I do know, but I cannot tell you. <laughs> I feel you in a library, you're studying some like old wisdom or something. And I feel like you're mostly by yourself. That's why I'm saying there's a lot of discipline here. You see, you're going to study or you're going to work or both. Remember, you're inheriting here. You're inheriting a lot of pentacles, a lot of dough. Honestly, I feel like you could be going to the Queen's Palace. I don't see a palace here, but that's the energy. And I, like when I look at this card, it gives me that feeling. And I see it with the Queen of Cups energy, the Queen's Cup. A marathon, isn't it? Then I see the Seven of Swords. So I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Some plan, oh, some it's not, uh, uh, whatever you're planning, you're being guided. You may be working in the heart of the sun. I feel like you're coming into this inheritance, but you don't know. You're, you're not sure, or you don't know. It's almost like you're going to a place where you don't know where you're going to put your foot down exactly. You don't know where you're going to land. Um, oh, because we did say traveling, you could be traveling by boat or by air. I don't know, but I just know it gets better for you. So this love energy is all about you, the work you're doing on yourself, you, the, your, it is all of you becoming the best version of yourself. And you're going to be successful, but I do feel like it continues on from there. I'm getting the energy that you're going to go to some school. I'm seeing the building, like, I don't know how to describe it, and you're going to be in there uh -uh, that's not it is it it's not it and i'm hearing franchise or fantasize <laughs> maybe something a dream thing grapefruit i don't know <sighs> so these are your messages in love 